Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about cele celebrating wins. Why is this so important? It reinforces positive conditioning or positive, it gives us positive reinforcement for something that we've done. So think about it. Whenever you give yourself a reward, you're more likely to do that thing because you know that you're going to get a reward in return. And not even consciously, but subconsciously. So the more you do things where you give yourself a reward afterwards, the more that thing will just become automatically easier for you to do. So why am I talking about this with you guys? Well, when it comes to the dating world, you need to give yourself rewards along the way. Say for instance, even if it's just approaching a woman and just walking up to her and saying hello, that's a step. That's a big step to walk up to a woman you don't know and say hello to her, look at her in the eyes and say hi. That can be really intimidating for a lot of guys. So in order for you to get good at that and move on to the next step, something that can really help is if you give yourself some positive reinforcement after doing that one action. So say you go walk up to a woman, right? And you say, you say hi, and that's all you say, right? But you did it. You did it. You have to acknowledge that accomplishment by giving yourself acknowledgement and then saying, okay, I did that. That's something I never did before. Super proud of myself. That was awesome. Then you can give yourself a reward. So you can go, and this doesn't have to be big, guys. It could be the tiniest rewards, right? Like go out and buy your favorite coffee or buy your favorite drink somewhere. You know, something really small that just tells your body, tells your mind, hey, what we did was good. So next time you do that, you'll probably get this again. And the more you do that, like I said, the more it just catches on subconsciously where these tasks that used to look so big in your mind now become kind of fun for you. And it's like, okay, I want to move to the next level. I did it before I could do it again. Plus I get a reward every time I do it. So that's just something to keep in mind. Men especially do not celebrate their wins because I work with male clients. I only work with men. And it's so hard to get these guys, to get you guys, if you're watching, um, to in the habit of celebrating what you have going for you or celebrating your, acknowledging your efforts that you're putting into it. And yeah, you may not get the end result you want right away, but that's okay. None of us do. Women don't either. We have to work at it and we have to practice the things that we want in life. So when it comes to dating, and I know you guys get in this habit of beating yourself up and saying, well, I didn't get her, so that was a failure. Look at what you did get when it comes to women. So say you're talking to a woman right in the bar and things are going well for like about 10 minutes and then she just turns away and says, oh, I have to go meet up with my friend and leaves. How are you going to look at that? Because you have a choice. You get to look at it how you want to see it. You can look at it like, okay, well, I failed. That was a fucking failure. I suck. I suck with women. I'll never be good. All women reject me. Or you can look at it like, okay, I was with that woman for 10 minutes and for 10 minutes she was really into me. So let me think right now, what was it about me that was that I did well? What was it that she was intrigued by? What do I, what do I think she was attracted to? What did I start the conversation with? You know, because what that does is not only sets you up for more success, but also allows you to acknowledge the good things that you did. And then you could take those things into account and say, okay, well now I know that this worked for me. This strategy is a good opener for me because I got that woman to sit for 10 minutes with me, lock eye contact and tell me, tell me something. You know, it could be the smallest thing, but something worked. So it's a different way of looking at it, right? Then, okay, that was a fucking failure versus something worked for 10 minutes. I got something to work. The more you could see only from that perspective, then the more you're, you're likely to do it. And the more you're likely to build confidence in those areas where you know something worked. That's the whole point, is to keep practicing. I'm reading a book right now called The Talent Code. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Um, the Talent Code, and something that it talks about, just started reading it, so I only read one chapter. Um, but the first chapter even, was talking about how but the most important part in order to build a skill is to take action on it and fail at it. Because the more you fail and the more you mess up, the more you can take a step back and tell yourself, okay, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? What can I do to improve? That's how you get deep practice. That's how you build a skill set. That's how you get really good at something. You have to mess up. You have to mess up. And if like everything just works for you all the time, you're not building you're not building an actual skill, you're just lucking out, okay? And then the time will come when, when something does fail or something does not go your way and you won't be able to handle it because you never built that strength of that skill set. So think of it that way. Okay guys, so if you walk away with anything from this video, what I really want you to remember is that you need to celebrate your small wins, 
okay? And then remember that whenever you are in a situation where you make some kind of move or you make some kind of progress, it doesn't mean it doesn't have to end up with a date. It doesn't have to end up with her kissing you. If it's some type of progress, take notice of that. Acknowledge it and count it as a win because the more you would count these things as win as wins, as wins, the more likely you are to want to get better at them and build your skill set to the point where you are unbreakable. So no matter what happens, even at the very end of the approach or the date, if things don't go your way, you then you can really take note of what you did well, what you didn't, and how you can improve. Because you can never improve if you don't mess up somewhere. So think of dating as that process where it's like, I'm getting really good at this skill set. I'm really building this skill set. And whenever I build a tiny part of that skill set, I'm going to celebrate the shit out of it. Okay, guys, I hope that helped you. Please don't forget to check out my podcast, What I Love About Men. It's on iTunes and Spotify. And also, if you want to set up a free consultation with me, a free 30-minute consultation, then you can head over to my website, sgdatingcoach.com. That's all I got for today. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.